Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you something on Forescan, which is the program I use to connect to my Ford F-150. I have a 2009 with a 5.4 liter and I've got aftermarket uh, wheels and tires and all that. And as you can see, I have a tire pressure monitor fault or a TPMF uh, sensor fail. So if you're tired of having that show up all the time, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. So the way you're gonna start out getting connected here, you're gonna come over to here, you're gonna load up your program. You will need a full license. I think you can get it for free, but you will need a very specific uh, cable. I had a different one that didn't work. I had um, this guy did not, allow me access to everything at the one with the switch on here so i ended up buying a different one this one worked for everything that i needed but it didn't allow me access to all of this all i had was to this bottom ic when i got this other one and i reconfigured i had to come in here and i got rid of i got rid of the profile to my pickup so basically what you want to do, if you have never logged on to this before, um, it does ask you to save a profile to the vehicle and you can do that. That's no problem. But I, I just deleted mine and, um, or you can hit no on recalling the saved profile. But anyways, you come down to configuration and programming, click that sucker and you're going to want to be in the as built format of the GEM. You're going to hit here. I got to pause my other protocol. Sorry. So you're gonna hit that, you're gonna come down to this play button. It's gonna throw you something here. It says, you know, basically it can hurt something if you do it wrong, but it's gonna read all those blocks. Well, what you're looking for is this one right here. From what I found on this pickup, there's a lot of stuff on there. So just try to do some research on your own vehicle. And this might only work for a 2009 F-150 with a 5.4 liter, but it worked really well for me. So what, what I had found is that it might be this 03 something zero. So it might be a different letter in there. But what I wanted to change was that C to a zero. So I have 0300 rather than 03 C zero. But you come over here, you say, right? Say continue anyways. It's gonna write that code on there. I come over here, no more sign on the dash. I can uh, clear it. I'm gonna just shut it off and return it on just to prove. It didn't even show up. Normally it shows up right away. Obviously I need an oil change, but so Hopefully that works for you guys. Make sure uh, you're very careful working around in here. Uh, there's a lot of things that I don't know about yet and I'm just starting to dabble in there. So um, hope this helped. I'm sure I'm excited to not hear that extra ding every time I fire this up. Bye. So this is the OBD scanner that I used. I will put a link to it in the description, but it actually worked for what I needed still don't have all the options that i've seen that people have online uh, i still got to figure that out but this one worked for what i needed to do so um yeah i'll put this link in the description and hopefully it works for your 2009 ford f-150 with a 5.4 liter motor they have a very detailed description i'll also put that link in the in the notes uh, about how to choose which one honestly i'm a little too dumb for that they talk about different options not on here, but in your vehicle itself. Apparently it kind of tells you what you need. So um, I was too lazy, so I just bought another one, but it worked, so.